Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more example for knapsack problem. So in our previous session we have seen what is a knapsack problem and then we have solved one problem. Right? Now we will see a one more problem. So we need to take a number of objects and corresponding weights and corresponding profits and also the weight, the maximum weight of a sack. Right? So, let us take a three objects. So, x1, x2, x3. And the profits. So, some 35, 40 and 30. And the corresponding weights. They will be 10, 25 and 20. And the maximum sack weight is 40. Maximum sack weight is 40. Now we need to find which object should be inserted into a sack so that we will get the maximum profit. Okay. Now let us assume the sack is empty. So S of 0 it will be 0 comma 0. And after empty after considering the empty sack just insert the first object so i am inserting one object to the empty sack so we need to add the first profit and weight to this one right so these are nothing but uh, profit and weight pairs the pair is profit and weight so why i am writing like this means the first element is a profit and the second uh, element is a corresponding weight so 35 plus 0 it's a third 35 and 10 plus 0 it's 10 now with one one element that means with one object the sack with one object is the empty stack empty sack and after insertion of one object so this is a S1. So we need to note down these things. This is S1 and this is S0 which is an empty sack. Now I am inserting one more object to sack with one object, right? So add the second one 40 and 25 to 0, 0. It is 40, 25. And 40, 25 to this one, right? 40 means 75. Next, 25 plus 10, it is a 35. So you can see, it is in an increasing order, right? There is no dominance. There is no dominance. So with a weight of 25, we are getting 45. And with a weight of 35, we are getting some 75. So there is an increase. There is no problem. And S2 is, so combine both, the, both these things. 0 comma 0 so 35 comma 10 and uh, after insertion so 45 comma 25 and 75 comma 35 right now this is a yes to so we have taken three elements or three objects so we need to calculate the S0, S1, S2 and S3 because already two elements or two objects have been inserted into a sack. Now the third one. So after insertion of 1 in sack 2. So what is the third one? 30, 20. So 30 plus 0, 20 plus 0. So 30 comma 20. 30, 20. So 65. 20 means 30 30 20 so 75 20 means 45 30 so 105 profit 20 it's a 55 it's a 55 right now you can eliminate these two things because the maximum weight is a 40 the sack can accept up to 40 right but here we are, we are having some 45 and 55 which is beyond the 
maximum weight so we can avoid these things and now we can consider only these these terms that is s3 so 0 comma 0 and 30 20 30 20 next 35 and 10 45, 25, 65, 30, 75, 35 and here you can see with the 20 weight we are getting some 30 profit and here with 10 weight we are getting 35 profit so which is a dominance right which is a dominance so with a less weight we are getting more profit so what we have to do so we can simply avoid the pain with less profit so among these two the less profit is 30 so we can simply avoid this set or this element right now we'll write the pain yes 3 is equal to what are the pain so 0 comma 0 35 see you can, you can observe 35 any other uh, deviations dominance here so 35 10 45 20 so both are maximum and here also maximum 45 65 25 30 maximum 65 75 30 35 maximum this is there is no dominance right so 0 comma 0 35 comma 10 45 comma 25 65 comma 30 75 comma 35 so among these one so we can see this is the maximum profit we can get a maximum profit now we will go with this one so checking out 75 comma 35 which belongs to S3 and 75 comma 35 belongs to S2. So let us check. S3, 75 35 belongs to S3. True. And 75 35 belongs to S2. So whether there is an 75 35 and S2, yes, it is there, right? So there is no change. We need not change. And the third element we cannot be inserted into a set. Third element cannot be inserted into set. After that, we have to remove, so we, we need not remove it, okay, because in both the things we are having the same thing. So 35 belongs to S2 and 75 comma 35 belongs to S1. Let us check, S2, yes, it is available. S1, there is no, so there is no. So there is a deviation, obviously we can say X2 should be inserted x2 must be inserted because in s2 it is there in s1 is not there now what happens we have to remove the second object i mean second object profit and weight with this one so 40 that means a 35 comma 10 check it out s1 and 35 comma 10 belongs to s naught so we need to check only in two sets one is s power i and the next one is s power i minus one okay so 35 comma 10 is available in s1 right yeah 35 comma 10 is not available in s naught so obviously we can move the first object into set first object into set so you can say the solution S is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 0 that means inside the sac we are supposed to move the first object and second object so that we will get the highest profit so what is the first object and second object 10 weight and 25 weight 10 plus 25 so what is the profit here we are getting 35 plus 40 
which is 75 okay so let us take a more okay so if you move 25 and 20 that means second object and third object we can't move because the the weight be, goes beyond the maximum size right so we can go with x1 plus x3 so 10 plus 20 the profit will be 65 okay so there is no chance so obviously with this move we can get a more profit that means moving the objects x1 and x2 into the stack will get a maximum profit right so hope you understood this simple problem so still if you are having any queries regarding this problem so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.